In this video, I want to talk about working with your images so that you have the best experience for your reader of your ebook. So let's take a look at this image. I, there's several things I can do with this image. I can, I can left justify it. I can center it. I can right justify it. But probably what I'm going to want to do more than anything else is I'm probably going to want to word wrap it. And so in order to do that, I'm going to give myself enough space over here that it reads comfortably. So let's grab the corner of the image and we'll make it a little bit smaller here so that when I word wrap it, it has room for stuff to go. So we'll move this paragraph up and you can see how that, that works in the word wrap. And what we've done is we've turned this float mechanism on right here. There's some other things I can do with that image and I want to talk about the other things I can do with it right now. Uh, this is where you find the media manager. This is that image right here and so I can actually pop that image out, take a look at it if I wanted to see what this looks like when I've discovered it or found it by using my search. And I also have cover images and image URLs here. This is just a, a bunch of cover images that we have that are properly positioned and the right size in order for you to make covers from. I can upload images from my hard drive and that's going to be helpful as well. Uh, but this is where uh, this image came in when I imported the, the document. And so I'm working with this image here inside of the, uh, inside the platform. Now I can edit it right here. So I open up this editor. And there's some things I can do with it. Should this image have come in from someplace that uh, might have had the orientation turned one way or the other, and I see this very rarely, but sometimes it happens, I can actually rotate my image here and put that in a different position so that it works uh, with the document that I'm trying to use. Okay, and then I just apply that and it'll, it'll apply that to the, uh, uh, to the image itself. The other things that I can do, and some of these are pretty cool, I can actually add an enhancement here. I can do high def. I can illuminate this image. I can, uh, and I'm not going to go through all of these, but there's a few that might be helpful. Uh, I might want to add a filter over the top of that uh, in some manner, but there's some things I can do from that perspective. I might want to add some focus to this. And so the other thing that you can do is add some, add some color to this. If I wanted to add some warmth to this, I can make that look a little warmer like that. I can make it look a little cooler like that. And so I've, I've got the ability to be able to make some adjustments to my image using this, what I think is an incredibly powerful image editor inside of Designer. And I could also add text to this. In, should I decide that, that I want to put a hashtag or something down here in the corner, uh, something that might be a call to action, uh, just lots of things I can do with this. I can change that text color so that uh, this will stand out and I can add uh, different text styles to this as well. Okay, so there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with this image editor. What did we learn from this? What we learned here is pretty simple. I can, re I can reposition my image here by adjusting the corners, holding down my shift key, pulling up on the corner, uh, or pulling out on the corner will allow me to make the image bigger or smaller. I can make it left justified, center it, right justified it, or I can word wrap it like I've done in this particular case here. Uh, I can change the margin of that word wrap if I would like to do that. I really like the default on this. It works out really well. So you have all of those capabilities there. Don't forget that you have the media manager under this button and the media editor on this button. Okay, powerful tools inside of Designer to make the best reader experience possible for you.